Alright, so the fight is now underway. On one side, you have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. Gonna be interesting to see how long he can keep it up with. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jet. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Double that jab now. Let's go. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. You are battering that nose. Oh, he heard a bat with a jab. Big, powerful punch land. Now we get back to range. They're certainly getting after it all. Put him up. Trying to establish that jab once again. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Body shot there. <laughs> Stuff the takedown, no problem. Right hand punch to the clinch. Great punch landed with so much power. Two minutes have gone by here, round one. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Try to establish that jab. Joy gets touched by that kick there. Pretty good right hand. Oh, nice. Nice. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Right at the elbow, the body kick lands. Good punch lands. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. The jab goes out, the jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Taibo class or something like that. Nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Go, 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 go. 60 seconds. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. He's very tricky when he throws that body. Oh, nice combination of kicks there by Choi. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. With both fighters throwing heat now. Blocks the shot. Well, missed on that one. Twenty seconds left. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Round one winding down here. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. 
All right, throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes, and he's throwing it over and over again. All right, so a crowd-pleasing five minutes in the books. DC, take us through some of the highlights. Punch after punch landed right on his opponent's face. He did a great job of finding his target, locking in, and then getting, the, getting his fist to the target in that round. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. That was some serious precision striking on display in the previous round. Found his openings upstairs and closed the show. He has landed at an alarming rate. His opponent needs to get his head off the center line. He's walking into him with his head straight up, not moving, trying to engage without changing the angles. That is why he is getting brutalized right now. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Ooh, blocks the shot. Beautiful punch. Oh, big head kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Wow. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. You got to get the elbows inside, because otherwise, you're going to land one that's going to shut everything down. Huge block there. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook. That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Choi's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Oh, man, look at that. Pick perfect. Got to the leg. Got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Liver kick. Well, I'm an identical twin. Two is better than one. You might as well double up on the jab. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Big punch lands through the middle. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Choi. to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Got the single collar tie. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Joy gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Big kick lands. Yeah. 
Well, no surprise, he goes for the takedown there, unable to get the fight to the canvas. This is a testament to his opponent, his ability to see the shots coming, defend them, and make the fight happen where he wants to. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Watch knees to the body. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Nice punch there. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. That right hand hurt him a little bit. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Let me see that hook now. Nice punch lands over the top. Back and forth we go. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Joy gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Grips the body there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Superman punch. Leg kick. Good punch. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh! Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, and he gets the takedown. Useful. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He's not pretty bad. Not touching every punch at land, he wants you to feel it. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. That's a big strike right there. So he counters with an effective punch there, and at least in that situation, it paid to have the advantage in reach. Oh! Holy smokes! He put it to sleep! All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. 90 seconds to go now. Oh, he pops.
postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Back mount now. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Single collar tie now. That one's gonna be a nice play. All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. Oh! Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. And they separate. Nice. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At four minutes, 42 seconds of round number three, declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout.